are we giving the letter of St. Paul and Galatians? Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent the Son, born of a woman, born under the law, their answer to those under the law, that we might receive adoption from the Son. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of the Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, that you are no longer a slave but a son. And if a son, then also an heir to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. Is so beautiful to her, and which is very powerful. 
As we need more of the new year, the venerate mother of God was prepared by God to be perfect and sinless, mother for Jesus, while he grew in her womb before he was born. Tonight, we are reminded that Mary is time mother too. We call out of her to protect us from the enemy, destroy the life of her son within us and among us. We ask her as her children to teach us and always to love us. We ask God tonight to bless our young in the ahead of the words which God himself as priest in the temple in the second reading today. May God bless you and keep you. May God let his friends shine on you and be gracious. And may God show you his face and bring you peace. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from God. And when the Holy Spirit was in God of the Holy Spirit, and then he came back. For our sake, he was crucified in a bunch of fire. He suffered death and was buried, and also came on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right of the Father. He will come again in the way to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no right. By being from the Holy Spirit, the Lord the King of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son as a Lord and God, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my God as the for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. I show that we are always blessed with God's tenderness. You ask now for God's merciful response to our needs. Brother Church, we be made of God's blessings on those most in need, the poor, the vulnerable, the outcast, the forgotten. Let us pray for your glory. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. On this world day of peace, that all people may search their hearts. Find a way to reject hate, resentment, and division and embrace peace so that violence is never again used against the fellow child of God. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those without family, whether through death or estrangement, that they may realize their inclusion in God's family and find comfort in their father's constant care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For new mothers, that they may be like God's blessings in their injured child, and they receive the care and support they want to handle their young responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all of us, that God may give us the grace during the pandemic to know His presence in our everyday lives especially during the disruptions and lonely times, and to grant us continuing patience and perseverance. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we call in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As you can have to bless us throughout the age of scope, Bless us as we make this prayer through the intercession of the Holy Father, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Thank you. 
He is similar to my example of Simon the Tibu, the Chinese, and once for giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for them and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints that have pleased you with our community, we may marry in chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and Father is yours, forever and ever. Let us pray our customers, our Father, who are to heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for an enemy, graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the miracle of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all mischief. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and purity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you. 
Those that are not able to be here this morning with us to receive my God and sight prayer of exclusion for me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. If I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament of the joy of the Lord, the ground of joy, that may lead us to eternal life, for my joy is to proclaim the blessed ever eternal and mother of the Son and the mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the mighty God bless you, Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God in peace, Lord, I'm the Lord, I'm the Lord.